beauties, welcome back to our series of top 10 lists, I'm Court McGinley. Today, we have the top 10 list of things you should never Google. And when I say you should never Google these things, I mean never. Not sometimes, not the occasional afternoon where you're bored and you're intrigued to look at odd pictures, I mean never. But before we get into all of that gross content that's headed our way, I wanna know, what is the craziest thing you've ever seen online? And you guys, let's keep this PG, okay? Let me know down in the comments. Now here's a warning, some of these things, they're pretty gross. So just as the title reads, do not Google them. We will have some cover pics, so if you hear a topic you think you're not gonna wanna know about and you're kinda squeamish about, then maybe just look away until we move on to the next one. Just giving you guys a warning, some of these pictures will be shown. All right guys, here we go. In our number 10 spot, we have your symptoms. So as if you don't already know this one, never ever look up your symptoms online. Because more often than not, it's just gonna terrify you and tell you that you have some incurable disease. I remember when I was younger, I had this dark freckle on my arm that I had never noticed before. Now, I'm from Scottish descent, so I have a lot of freckles, but this one was new, so I googled it and the internet told me I had skin cancer. I freaked out, I cried, went to the doctor, and you know what? It was just a new freckle. I know a lot of sometimes you might develop a cough or some sort of rash, maybe some joint pain. Whatever the case may be, just go to your doctor because if you look it up online, you're just gonna be told that you're dying when chances are you're more than likely fine. So ain't no one got time for that. In our number nine spot, we have the death clock. Now I'm not gonna lie, while making this list, I googled the things on this list because that's part of my job to do the research so I have to know what I'm potentially showing you guys to make sure that it's safe and appropriate. And thank God I did that because one of the things that was going to be on this list ended up giving one of the computers at the office a virus. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But in this case, this one I did not look up because quite honestly, it freaks me out. So what you have to do is you have to type in your date of birth, your height, your weight, and smoking habits. And after doing this, it allows you to discover the exact day the internet believes you are going to die. I suggest you guys don't Google this because it's just gonna make you paranoid and screw with your head. But if some of you were silly enough to actually go to this site, you don't need to live in complete fear because there have been no recorded deaths that have matched up with this list. That we know of anyway. And at number eight, we have smoking lungs. Yeah, if you guys saw those pictures on the cigarette packages were bad, then you definitely don't want to see these. It's very disturbing and kind of makes you feel really nauseous after looking at it. I've actually never smoked because I grew up with my dad being a smoker and I saw how hard it was for him to quit and I didn't want to go through that. Plus, it makes your breath and clothes stink and it damages your skin. It's just not worth it. So if any of you out there actually do smoke, maybe you should Google this. Only because it might finally be the kick in the butt you need to quit. But for those of you who don't, these pics are very graphic and disturbing, so you should just stay away. Moving into our number seven spot, we have bed bug infestations. For those of you who don't know, bed bugs, they're parasitic insects that feed exclusively on blood. Bed bug bites are usually painless at first, but later turn into itchy welts. Also, bed bug bites are on any area of the skin exposed while sleeping. So if you Google bed bugs, you get a picture of one or two. You know, it's not cute, but you can look at it. But when I googled bed bug infestations, I got these pictures of like bed bugs in colonies. It was so gross. I honestly started to itch. It's like I could feel them crawling all over me from just looking at the pictures. It's not something you wanna Google, trust me. There's swarms of them, it's just so blah. Moving on to number six, the beginning of up. Yeah, we're taking a spin on this list from pretty gross things to something incredibly sad that will make you bawl your eyes out. Now I'm sure many of you have seen Up, but if you haven't, you're missing out because it's great. Now like I said, this movie is awesome aside from, you know, the first five minutes. Because within the first five minutes of this animated movie, it rips your heart out, throws it on the floor, and stomps on it. It's just so devastating. All these horrible things happen to this poor couple and you don't expect it. I went and saw this movie with two of my best friends when it came out and we were all excited you sit down all happy, and within the first five minutes, you're crying so much and you can't stop. Do not torture yourself, do not Google this. Moving into our number five spot, we have skin conditions. Now originally you'd think, this one, it's not so bad. You Google it and a list of calming skin conditions come up. No big deal. But then you click over to the images and you just see stuff you could have gone your whole life without ever needing to see. And you just ask yourself, why am I making such a list? What is life? And I'm gonna leave it at that because you guys don't need to experience what I just did. And at number four, we have crabs. So if you type in crabs into the internet, you'll get these pictures of cute little crabs. Some are real, some are animated. But all 
all around, they're cute. But if you add STD onto your search, well then things take a turn for the worst. For those of you who haven't learned in health class yet, genital crabs are tiny blood sucking insects that infect human genitals, causing itching and red spots. Much like bed bugs we talked about previously, only these are transferred during sexual activity. I would imagine these wouldn't be a pleasant thing to have, nor is this a pleasant thing to Google. In at number three, we have animal slaughterhouses. Obviously, you can tell by the name, this one's not a pleasant thing to Google. And I would strongly advise against it, seeing as it's just pictures of animals being tortured and decapitated, and you know, explains the steps of how this happens. And it's a pretty heartbreaking process. However, if you're someone who wants to become a vegetarian and you need the extra nudge to convince yourself to do it, maybe you should Google this, because after looking at these pictures and learning about it, you're not gonna want to eat meat for quite a while. In at number two, we have cancer. Now, normally this wouldn't be on the list because when you Google it, there's a lot of good things that pop up, such as breast cancer awareness and direction on how women can give themselves at-home breast exams. But then you click the link that says cancer symptoms and you just get this huge list and some of the things on the list are pretty common. Then you look up types of cancer and this list is even longer and then you just get paranoid and creep yourself out and worry about nothing. Again, if you're experiencing anything out of the ordinary or feel a lump somewhere on your body, you need to go to your doctor. Don't Google it because you're just gonna freak yourself out. All right guys, so let's recap. We've talked about symptoms, the death clock, smoking lungs, bed bugs, crabs, cancer, animal slaughterhouses, skin conditions, and the tragedy that is the beginning of the movie Up. But coming at our number one spot is something you really shouldn't Google. In our number one spot, we have giving birth in brackets crowning. Obviously, we're not gonna show pictures because that's just, no, it's not gonna happen. So instead, we're gonna insert cute little pictures of babies. Now, if you're currently pregnant, this is an okay thing to Google. You know, you have to stay educated on what's about to happen to your body. But if you're not, then don't do it because it will traumatize you and you will never want to have a child. It shows you pictures and you learn in detail, might I add, all the painful, messy, bloody joys of bringing a new life into this world. Googling giving birth, it's okay, but then you throw crowning in there and you just question why women go through this kind of torture. Some women have five kids, heroes. That, that's what they are, they're heroes. Like many women, I do wanna have kids one day, but after seeing this, it's gonna set me back a few years. Don't Google this, guys. It's just gonna make you question everything about your future. Well, there you guys have it, our top 10 list of things you should never Google. Make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments which top 10 lists you'd like to see next. So make sure you subscribe and like, comment on the video, watch more videos over here, and you guys can follow me on Instagram at Court McGinley.